Okay, today in this little area right here, I have some red romaine lettuce growing. And in here, that's some purple lady bok choy. And this is a regular bok choy that I took out of my winter sowing and planted here. So again, romaine lettuce, bok choy, romaine lettuce, and I believe this is a little gem lettuce, but the focus today is on some snap peas that I uh, planted here, okay? What I wanna try to do today is place some string in between these big areas here so that the uh, the peas will have something to trellis up on. As you can see, they're getting their little tendrils already and the space here is too big. So I wanna try to make a little string situation for them to trellis up on. All right, that's the goal. Let's see what we can get done. Okay guys, I have my string and I'm going to try and get this strung up properly. I'm like, I haven't watched probably enough videos on how to make proper knots for this kind of trellising. I'm like, I've been shown over and over, but each time when I go to execute it, I'm like, oh, I can't remember how to make uh, whatever the knot is. So I'm just going to be doing a basic, you know, slip knot. I don't even know if that's the right term. I'm just gonna use a basic knot um, to tie them. And I have to go back. I realize that I should be tying them all at the top and the bottom, you know, but um, yeah. It's right here, right here, like on the third one that I start to tie them. So once I'm done, I go back and um, retie the first two just so that it's secure. Because I mean, you see that the string is already kind of flimsy, it's, it's moving around. It's not as taut as I'd like it to be. So yeah, I'll correct that in the end. But right now these knots are just giving me the business. So I'm trying to show you, see it's just a basic knot, nothing special, but um, although I'm saying that, it does provide me with um, a challenge as I'm trying to tie them. But once I get over to the other side, I get the hang of it and I'm able to do it um, a little bit quicker. Not, you know, a lot, but I do get a better um, idea of how to get these knots tied and just move it along. So yeah, this is at the end because I'm on the other side, I'm, I'm nearly done. So yeah. Okay, this is the best that I could do. I'm like, I'm just trying to give them an opportunity to have something to climb up on. And I don't even know if you can see it, but it's just a basic knot. And I couldn't really like zoom in like I wanted to, but this is the end result and we'll see like do you see this one already has like a you know a little tendril there so yeah I'm just trying to give them the best chance that they can to grow because I was not um, successful in getting um, any snap peas last year 
All right, so I have two different types. I have the basic sugar snap. And you see I planted them on the 18th of last month of February. And I have this one right here, this honey snap. And that one's like a golden color. So I will just be very pleased if I get any snappies. And this little cage system I bought a couple years ago and it's like the worst. It's just very flimsy and it was supposed to be like tomato cages, but no, they cannot support tomato cages. But hopefully it will provide um, some structure and something for my snap peas to climb up on. All right, that's my uh, time out in the garden today. All right, I need to clean up my supplies there and get in the house. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and give me some comments. <laughs> it looks wonky and crazy, but that's what we have. I always have good intentions and I have good ideas. It's the execution and the follow through that I fail on. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Bye guys.